going on guys Trevor back to the video and I'm gonna show you Tonkor Zephyr and just Zephyr in general is back she's just so much fun so powerful you guys probably already know this but I'm gonna show you my steel path build and everything for her and yeah let's get into the video so two things I recommend using on Zephyr so you have your generic range build and I put on uh, Gara's helmet ability in place of her first ability. So I can get a bunch of energy orbs since we're grouping up all the enemies anyways. Arcan Energize is not really mandatory because you're spawning in so many energy orbs you really don't worry about energy that much. Arcan Avenger is mandatory. Combat Discipline in my opinion is mandatory. Combat Discipline and Arcan Avenger are just so good together that it's just a must in my opinion. Then, um, just generic, normal range build on her with a little bit of duration. And then rolling guard. Um, I'll show you a way to get back your health from combat discipline. There's three different ways, and I'm going to show you two of them. I don't have the third way, but that's just because I don't like it. So rolling guard, you know, roll, become immune. Just really good. Let, helps you get your shield getting back up and everything. So that's pretty much my Zephyr build right there. If you want to swap out Rolling Guard, this is going to be one way to heal yourself. Um, you throw in Equilibrium. And all the energy orbs will be dropping from here. because, And also you're spamming your second ability to group up all the enemies. Um, equilibrium will pretty much get you back your health no matter what. You won't die from it. It's just if you get a stas effect on you, you're kind of screwed. So that's why I like to rock Augur Secrets. Or Rolling Guard. And then I will show you how to get your health back if you have Rolling Guard. There's two ways you can do it with Rolling Guard. That was the first way with Equilibrium. So here's my Tonkor build. You've probably seen my Tonkor video already. So nothing special here. Just another Tonkor. No. Primary Merciless. Everything's just pretty much the same. Uh, secondary really doesn't matter. You can really rock whatever you want. There's a lot of good options. I've done this with the AK Chigar Prime. Extremely powerful. You just slash every enemy. Um, there's just a bunch of really good options you could rock. Um, so for your melee weapon, there's a few options I would recommend. Strafa is, or Strofa, would be the best, in my opinion. This isn't the fully optimized build. I still need to put one more Forma into this to chuck in the, uh, what is it called? Shocking Touch. Because a 60-60 mod is not really going to help you too much when you're just heavy attack spamming. So if I had... One more formal, which I could go buy a bundle, but um, formula this at least four times and just chuck in a shocking touch up in here. But for right now, we'll take strike will do fine, nothing too strange. So, life strike will be the way I will get my health back. Um, I'm using my melee a lot, anyways, to heavy attack because it's just so damn powerful. Life strike is just a really good bot for this build, you get your health back. Instantly in one shot doesn't matter how much health you're missing. You'll just get it all back really good way to get your um, Health back if you're using rolling guard the other one is arcane magus Magus whatever it's called when you turn into your operator you gain 300% health or 300% or 300 health That's also a way I just don't like personally like to swap in between my operator and Zephyr constantly just to get my health back I'll just use life strike just to get my health back and to be honest, if you're using the Magus or Magus or whatever, Arcane, you could drop Life Strike and go with a attack speed. Um, like Berserker Fury, great, great, great for this. Um, you can go with Prime Fury, also really good for this. There's a lot of different options you can do go for this. Um, the reason why I do recommend rocking at least some attack speed. So I'll show you this without an attack speed. So... Here's your heavy attacks. Spamming my heavy attacks. This is as fast as I can shoot them. It's alright. Not slow, but not really fast. Um, if you have, like, let's just say Prime Fury. Oh, shit. If, like, just a normal... Like, even a normal Fury, a Quickening. Any of that will really work. So I have just a Fury, Prime Fury on. Look how much faster I shoot this. 
just the wind up time is not faster but you transitioning from one heavy attack to another is faster that's why I do recommend running a little bit of attack speed if you're not using um, life strike and I'll show you this with berserker fury on I will actually want to proc it. Oh wait, did, I forgot they reworked Berserker, so I think it's on kill effect now. Let's check. I'm used to the old Berserker still. Um, On melee kill, yeah. So, here, I'll show ya. I'll just spawn in all the enemies again. I'll just use my fourth ability. There you go. So look at this attack speed now. That is the reason why I do say rock um, a little bit of attack speed, at least. Nothing crazy, but just some attack speed. It is just so good. But I am rocking life strike, so I don't really care too much. If you're walking, you remember Equilibrium or Archimagus, you don't really need Life Strike. You could just rock another attack speed mod. So, um, so it's really uh, up to you how you could build your melee weapon. Here's Quickening for you. That would be a really good one for you too. Um, I personally will just rather just use Life Strike. Swat some melee, shoot once, all my health back. Um, well, let me show you like the general combo for this build. So, you have a third ability for survivability, of course. Everybody knows about this one. Um, so you're gonna rock your... put down your tornadoes. If they're not sucked in, you spam your second ability just to pull them all in. And you activate the Gara's helmet ability. And then just shoot the tornadoes. Heavy attack. Boom. Dead. Everything dies instantly. It's really good. Really powerful. Show you one more time. Heavy attack, boom, dead. Extremely good. All these energy orbs are dropping because of the augment mod I have on for Gara. Um, I'll show you this with Tonkor because I do use Tonkor in the video too, as well. The Tonkor is not going to be as powerful at first, but that's just because I don't have the buffs active. So I'll shoot that once. Let them all die really quick. Alright. Now that I have a buff, shoot once, dead. Like, it's just the same exact thing as the Strafa, but I'm losing HP for using Combat Discipline. So I tend to use Strafa a little bit more just for the heavy attacks. If you don't want to use Combat Discipline, you can just rock anything really. Because either way, these both really just one-shot every enemy. I was noticing a glitch though with the Strafa and the Tornadoes. When it came to some Xmas units, for some reason it would not damage them. Don't know why. Um, but that's just what it was doing. So when that happened, I tend to pull out my Chonkor. Yeah, just everything dead again. Um, I would whip out my Chonkor and it, it would work. But with the Strafa, it just wouldn't work for some reason. I have no clue why. Um, kind of weird. And I was getting a question by a lot of my clanmates, my fashion on my Valkyr, or my Valkyr, my Zephyr Prime. I have the Grax skin, Prime Detail active, because without it, I don't like it as much. Activate the Prime Details, gives you the nice feathers on the arms and on the neck and everything, on the feet and all that. It just looks really nice. And then Grax skin, of course. Then attachments is just going to be the... The Galvanic armor set, Toxin Ephemera, and Cyandana will just be this jetpack. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Cyothin, Cyandana. That's just going to be my guess. Pretty good. I love it. Um, it's my favorite go-to uh, attachments and everything to go under. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to be the build of my Tonkor and 
Zephyr and Strafa, like I said, you can rock a really good melee or secondary weapon, like let's just say AK Jagara. I'll show you that really quick. It's not as powerful as the other two, but it is still pretty, pretty damn powerful. So like I said again, gotta activate my blast really quick. Let's activate that. Nope, oh, right by. Oops. Just kill this one really quick. As you can tell, it still works really, really, really powerful. Overall, just Zephyr is a beast of a Warframe now. If you don't have her, or you haven't tried her out since her rework, she's just crazy powerful now. Um, and her passive is so, so good now too. The 150% increased critical chance while being airborne. Extremely powerful. Too bad you can't make it work with the Strafa, but it is what it is. There you go, everything died again with Tonkor. And that was without my buffs. Um, so with your heavy attack melee, I recommend just rocking the element that they're weak to. Because, um, don't rock like a viral slash build or a combo build or anything like that. Um, since you're using your heavy attacks a lot, you just need upfront raw damage and the best thing to do if you're going against, say, Grenier. Just corrosive, um, overall just gonna be the best. If you're rock if you're going up against like um let's say I don't know Corpus, you could just rock toxin and gas, but toxin preferably. You could just rock full take strike and then just chuck in another sixty sixty toxin mod here. So now you're just rocking pure toxin. I don't know if I have any corpus scanned because I don't really care about scanning enemies. I have a couple. Corpus tech, good enough. All right. Let's see, corpus techs. Twenty. Now, this will take a little bit more damage to kill him. You can also rock magnetic, and that will work perfectly fine too. But overall, just Rock Toxin. Like I said, just insta-kills everything. If you need to go against, let's say, uh, Infested, just Rock Fire. Just pretty much anything that does the most raw damage up front in general to them. That's why I say just Rock Toxin, because it will just bypass their shield altogether. So if you're going up against Corpus, just Rock Toxin. If you're going up against Infested, just Rock Heat. Because, as you can tell, it still just shreds. Um, but yeah, that's going to pretty much be the build. Strafa, everybody knows how powerful of a weapon this is. Nothing new. Everybody knows how powerful it is with Zephyr. Nothing new. But I just want to make a video on it because I've been having a ton of fun using it in Steel Path. And just one-shotting everything. But, yeah, that's it. Have a good one, guys. Peace. Show Grenier are harvesting Kuva nearby. Set off the alarms to draw them out, then steal their Kuva catalysts. Predictable. As expected, Grenier have shut down environmental systems, sending modified life support capsules. Use these to sustain your environment or attach Kuva catalysts to begin harvesting.
ready for a capsule. Life support capsule to the area. Activating it will buy you more time. Support incoming. Another life support capsule. has just made their first discovery. Keep up the good work. When you need it, extraction is ready.
longer you fight, the more successful we will be.
share in this bounty. Hold out as long as you can.
operative just found. They could not do this without you. Learned here will serve you well. 